Hello everyone, this is Vinny with Autel, here with you today to go over the Autel Complete ADOS solution. With this system, we are able to precisely calibrate vehicles after certain physical repairs, including windshield calibrations and bodywork. With its extreme adjustability, the Autel ADOS frame can be set for a variety of vehicles so that the calibration equipment can be precisely placed in the correct location. These adjustments include a lateral adjustment, as well as a vertical adjustment. The vertical adjustment is both motorized for fast placement as well as manual for a precise uh, location. It is also adjustable in angle so that the target can also be placed at the correct angle. With Autel's vast vehicle coverage, the Autel Complete Solution has interchangeable targets for each brand and model vehicle. This one, for example, is for Nissan Infiniti forward-facing camera. With our system, we can see how easy it is to simply interchange the targets. To safety, we can attach it magnetically and adjust its distance to each side. With a compatible Autel scan tool, we'll be able to perform pre and post scans on the vehicle we're working on, as well as accurately calibrate that vehicle with step-by-step -step instructions. On the main screen, starting with the brand of vehicle that we're working on, we are asked to either enter an RO number or a repair order number, or select the standalone diagnostic. For today, we're gonna to enter the repair order demo and select OK. We will now start with the automatic selection and have the tool read the VIN for us. We'll accept that VIN and confirm the year, make, model of the vehicle we're working on. Once we accept, we'll be at the main screen. From here, we will select the pre-scan option so that we can take a screenshot of the vehicle status prior to beginning our work. This may take a few moments. Once complete, the pre-scan will ask us if we would like to attach any photos. At this point, it's a good idea to take photos of the vehicle in its pre uh, current condition, as well as any damage that currently is seen on the vehicle. For today, we will select the no option, and we will go through the list of systems that the tool has detected. We will notice all of the ADOS systems have a blue ADOS icon to the right hand side. This indicates that this system assists the driver in maintaining the vehicle's speed and direction while driving. Once the pre-scan is done, we can exit our diagnostic menu and begin our physical work on the vehicle. Once our physical work is complete, we will then return to the scan tool and reinitialize our scan. To do this, we can go to the history option on the top and select our previous RO called demo. We will then begin the diagnostics and we will re-enter the main screen. This time you'll notice it says post scan on the bottom row. We will begin with our ADOS calibration icon and the tool will scan through all of the ADOS systems found on the vehicle. Today, we're gonna to be working on the calibration of the front facing camera. On this particular vehicle, this system is called Lane Camera. We will choose the bullseye icon to the right hand side to go into the step-by-step -step setup procedure as well as the calibration function. Our first screen asks us what is the reason for our calibration. These typically range from an alignment to windshield replacement, body panel replacement, or actual diagnostic trouble codes found in the systems. For today, we will select the option that says we have repaired or replaced the front facing camera. The tool will then begin with a list of necessary equipment that we will need to collect for the calibration. The tool asks us if we are working on flat level ground or if we are utilizing an alignment rack for the calibration. Today we'll be working on the ground, so we will select A. The tool begins with a list of calibration preparations these are conditions that must be met prior to the calibration being started. These conditions include full gas tanks and proper TPMS pressure. Once these preconditions have been met, we can scroll down and read that to set up the calibration frame, we will want to click Setup. The setup instructions will give us step-by-step -step procedures on how to place the calibration frame along with detailed images. This screen informs us that to start, we will need to place the frame at a zero starting position. The rear wheel clamps are installed on the rear wheels like so. 
hooking them around the rim and tightening so that they are secure. We then turn on the laser and point it at the ruler on the crossbar. The same is done for the other side. We can then make lateral adjustments to the crossbar so that the distance on each side is equal. We then open the rulers at the end of the crossbar on each side so that the laser is reflected towards the back. We then make adjustments to the angle of the crossbar so that the laser is reflected back at the same value. We then reference the tool so that we can confirm the lateral position of each target. For this vehicle, it will be a distance of 600 millimeters. It will also then display the correct target to use for this vehicle's calibration. This one is the 60106. They are directional and they are labeled left and right. Once we have the target, we will attach it to the frame, first by securing the safety strap and attaching it to the frame magnetically. The target is then adjusted to the correct lateral distance of 600 millimeters. Once we make sure that the frame is level, we then set the height by first releasing the ruler on the left hand side and then using the motorized height adjustment to raise the crossbar to the indicated height in our tool. For this vehicle, it's about 1450 millimeters. We can then use the manual crank to precisely set the height of the crossbar. Once the height has been set, we can then return to our scan tool and initiate the calibration procedure. We will make sure that the ignition is turned on and the scan tool will then communicate with the vehicle. This screen indicates the calibration is in process and this screen indicates that the calibration has been successful along with all relevant parameters for this calibration, all within spec. Once complete, we can simply hit OK and the tool will return us to the main screen. If we have the results for our calibration, we can then take a screenshot of this information as well so that we can attach it to our post report. Once done, we're gonna exit the screen and return to our main diagnostic screen and select the post scan option. Now, the tool will begin to scan the vehicle after our repair and compare those results to the pre-scan we completed prior to the repairs. This report can then be submitted to our clients and insurance companies for payment on our repairs. With the post report complete, we can either view, print, or email that report for further documentation. The report itself enables us to view the before and after of the vehicle, as well as any results from our ADOS calibration. If for any reason we have any technical difficulties, please contact Altel Tech Support or for product inquiries, please contact your local authorized distributor. Thank you.